In this video you will learn how to check element normals. Create local coordinate system for the model. Define material orientation. Create plies. Create and review laminates. Let's try to create laminates for this model. This model has two components, flange and web. Always, when dealing with composites, we need to first check the directions of element normals. Why we should check element normals? Element normals need to be checked for the following reasons. When you create laminates, the plies are stacked in the direction of the element normals. Therefore, elements normals have to be checked before creating laminates to get the plies stacked in the desired direction. Also, when you create interface laminates, the interface sequence has to be defined in the element normals direction in order to get desired interfaces. To check element normals, go to normals option in the tools panel. Within the elements subpanel, with the vector display on, click display button. You can see the arrows displayed, which indicates the directions of the element normals. You can also check the normals using surface subpanel. Now, let's create a local coordinate system for the model. Go to Systems option in the Analysis panel. Click on Create by Axis Direction sub-panel. With the Node Selector active, pick a node from the model, where you want to create the system. With the Origin Selector active, pick a node to define the origin. With the X-axis selector active, pick node to define the X-axis. With the XZ plane selector active, pick a node to define the XZ plane. Enter relative size. It determines how large, in model units, systems are displayed relative to the model size. Click create and you can see a local coordinate system is created at the specified location. Now, let's see how to define the material orientation, using material orientation subpanel. In some models, different elements may have different orientations. Therefore, it is always necessary to define the material orientation. This will become the reference for fiber orientation later. Fiber orientation is essential for the physical properties of composite materials. Say for example, if my material direction is along x-axis then that means the stronger fiber direction is along x-axis, that is zero degree angle. With element selector active, select all the elements. Set the material orientation method by system ID. Enter the system ID as one and you can see that, the newly created system will be highlighted. Enter relative size and click assign. You can see the arrow marks on the elements, which represents the orientation of the material. After assigning material orientation, create properties for the components. P comp P property is created for both the components. Let's create two different materials with some random properties. Night 8 card image is selected for orthotropic material.
Similarly, another material is created. Before creating the plies, let's create two sets of elements, so that, it will be easy to select the elements while creating the plies. Right click on the model browser and create set one. To add the elements into the set, click on Entity IDs and select Elements as Selector. Let's put all the elements from the flange into Set 1. In the same manner create Set 2 and add all the elements from Web into it. Now, let's create the plies with different orientations as shown in the image below. Right click on the model browser and click create ply. The create ply window opens. Change the material type to orthotropic and let's assign different material for alternate plies. Let's assign material 1 to ply 1. Let's give 0.2 mm thickness for all the plies. In the orientation field, define the orientation of the plies. Ply 1 orientation is 0 degree, as per the image. Change the shape entity selector to set. Plies 1 to 4 will be created on flange, therefore select set 1. Click Proceed and Create. Ply 1 will be created. In the same manner create plies 2, 3 and 4, by changing the material alternately and the degree of orientation as 45, minus 45 and 90 respectively. Now, create plies 5, 6, 7 and 8 in the same manner, by selecting set 2 elements. After creating all the plies close the create ply window. You can review the created plies in the model browser. Select all the plies and assign different colors to each ply. Now, let's create laminates. Right click on the model browser and click create laminate. The Create Laminate window opens. Let the type be Ply Laminate and change the name to Flange.
set the card image as stack and laminate option as total. Define plies 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the define laminate field. Click create and the flange laminate will be created, which you can review in the model browser. In the same manner create web laminate. After creating laminates, close the window. Now, assign the property for both the components. To visualize the plies created, change the 2D element representation to detailed representation. Also, switch on the composite layers. To visualize the plies in their respective colors, change the element color mode to by property. But, you can see that, the plies 1 and 2 are stacked above the shell mid-plane. You can correct this by defining the offset value in the property. By defining the offset value, you can adjust the position of the plies from the reference position. To visualize the plies with respect to their material, change the element color mode to by matte. You can also visualize the fiber direction by selecting composite layers with fiber directions option. You can also review the orientation of each ply. You can use the Shrink Elements option to review each element in detail. Now, let's see how the element normals affect the ply layout. You can see all the plies are stacked in the direction of element normals. When you reverse the direction of the normals, the plies also will change their direction. Thank you for watching the video.